Hello and welcome to this next topic of OCR A-Level Chemistry. This is topic 32, which is amines. Now I know I've thrown the word amine around quite a few times now, and I haven't actually said what an amine is. So, an amine is an NH2 or NHR, or just N with three R groups attached to it. It's basically an N in the place of a C in a carbon chain. So this is a primary amine, which would be at the end of a carbon chain, or in the middle of a carbon chain is a secondary amine, and then this will be a tertiary amine. So the N is a little bit like a C in the carbon chain, and it makes it an amine. So obviously nitrogen is different to carbon, and in all these cases, nitrogen has a lone pair. So it can accept a proton, and it does so. So amines are all basic, which means that they can accept protons from acids. The same way that ammonia can, so ammonia is an alkaline gas, these are all basic as well. So the lone pair on nitrogen will make a dative covalent bond to the H+, leaving a positive charge on the nitrogen. So all of these would react with a dilute acid, say hydrogen chloride, and you'd end up with, in this case, NH3 plus Cl. So the H plus goes on to the N, leaving it a positive charge, and then you get a salt of that NH3 plus and the Cl minus. Obviously that's just a primary amine, you can do the same with secondary or tertiary amines, because they all have the lone pair to accept a proton. And other things in this topic of amines are the preparation of these aliphatic amines, but also aromatic amines. So to make this aliphatic primary amine, you would react a haloalkane with excess ethanolic ammonia. Ethanolic means that it's dissolved in ethanol. And that would substitute the NH2 for the X, leaving you with NH2, so this would be propylamine and HX. Now HX is an acid, so I'd assume that this would protonate the NH2, making NH3 plus X minus. And to make an aromatic amine, so an NH2 onto a benzene ring, then what you do is you reduce NO2, so a nitrobenzene, to an amine. And you do that using tin and concentrated hydrochloric acid. And that's it for this part of the topic on amines. There's a bit more on amino acids and amides and polyamides, but we'll get to those in the coming videos. So thank you for watching. Hope you can join me for the next one. Goodbye.